What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RP series. Today we will be finishing off the AI, yes finally, okay, so we will be fixing some damage issues that our enemy AI has when we hit him, and also we will be setting our last AI which is the civilian, it's gonna be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so first of all, let me explain what I mean by the issue that we have with the current AI. So basically, I have just removed the bows from the last episode and just dragged my uh, normal AI, as always, into the scene. So I can just showcase this. And basically, when I hit him, if I manage to hit him, of course, there we go, <laughs> uh, and I exit, we get some errors. And we are getting some errors really in the health system by in, crunk, in, in, in concrete the the percentage of so we go here you can see that in the uh, player stats we are getting this error in its percent and we see it is i mean may, makes sense because we're using the dummy or the player character and well basically we're using another type of ai here so what we need to do is go ahead and fix this so to fix this, what we're going to do is change this select into an array. And this array will contain all the possible combinations. So basically our dummy, our player, but then our new AI. So let's go into our main event graph. And basically what I'm going to do is replace this select node. So we just go into the content browser, okay? Let's click an AI, well actually using uh, Bluepins in general. So right click and let's just type enumerator. And well, that will be under Blueprints enumeration so this is just a list so we can just be like e underscore m character types if i know how to types how to spell this and let's quickly just open this all right so in here we can just add an enumerator the first one will be the player as always the second one will be the dummy which is the one that we have right now and then lastly it's going to be the normal AI and the good thing is that because our boss and our civilian are gonna do later on are gonna well are and are gonna be um childs of the BP AI we can just directly have one type of AI and it will work so that's great so you can save this now go here and now we can just go down here okay so this one the event graph right in our first set percent we can just get a, this health bar for example and find the select node now it's gonna be this one the one with this uh, symbol here and now we can go and get e underscore character types and now depending of it as you can see it will do one thing or another uh, in this case for the dummy well it will be dummy so we can just hold control and move it and this will be for the well, i mean we can just delete this node and this node and this one will be for the player so this one here and remember to plug this back into here into the target and now for the AI well we have to basically create it now the index we have to pass the index so of course we have to set it but first of all if the cast failed in here we can need to cast to pp underscore AI because of course it is not the, the third person character which is the player or the dummy so it has to be our AI so let's just plug the get on our node here and now we can just right click promote to variable and this will just be our and AI BP as we did with the other ones. All right, so with that, we will not need the is player node, but I'm gonna keep it just in case we want to do extra things in the future. Um, and also, let me just put this up here, it's a bit more organized. There we go. All right, and then, um, so what we have to do now is basically set this enumerator index, of course, right? Um, but first of all, let's continue with this. So I wanna also just put this down as the player is in the top one. Then the dummy and let's do the same so let's get the ai bp i just do exactly the same with the dummy i think i can even copy and paste it uh no i can't <laughs> all right so we need to get the health bar bar ui here we go and then get the health bar itself okay and now yes we can just plug that into the ai and now it will depend on that and we can just go ahead and do so with the other one too all right so we can just copy this node here now the thing is that this output is a text object file so we can i cannot just copy and paste it but let's just delete this delete this and now just get the health text and use do the select node again it will be the one of this symbol and then we go ahead and find the and character types as we did and now we can just put the this is probably dummy so make sure you move it so hold ctrl move it 
Now this is for the player. Alright, so that will be there. And put this here. And then for the AI, we'll have to do pretty much what we did here. So you just get the AI BP. And then you just do the get um, health bar UI. Uh, and then get the health text, which is here. Now we can just plug that into the AI and plug this back into the set text. And for this, it will be okay, okay, okay. And of course, this is only for the player because of XP and stuff. Um, ah, there we go. So, yeah, we are using this player, so that's great. We only continue with doing that. Great, so that works. But of course, we have to continue this. So make sure to plug the plug this in here. So we'll continue with the flow if it's the owner too. But we have not finished. We of course have to set this index, and also we have to add it into the quiz health function also not only in the beginning play um but we already have it pretty much set up so let's go ahead and just change this index over here so of course we have to change it depending on on that right so what we have to do is basically create a variable and honestly the best way is to go here right click promote variable and this will be um just character type something like that so now there we go it will depend let's plug it here too so now it will change depending on that variable. And now in here, we have to change it. So just drag it, set it. Let's do first of all with the BP AI. So make sure to plug it in. And this will be set to AI. Let's copy and paste it. Let's go into the dummy in here. This will be set to dummy. Let's copy and paste it. And finally, this will be for the player. So um, we can just plug it here. Yeah, there you go. That, that will be good. Now, of course, remember to change it into player. All right, so that's all done for the event graph. Now we just need to go into the health section and decrease health. And now we just have to do the same button here. But yeah, we don't have to do it all again. We can just go ahead and copy all this that we have here and go back here and paste it. Okay, so this is for the uh, health bar. All right, set percent. So you just paste it and you just drag it in here in the target. And now we can just go ahead and delete this, delete this, and delete all this and just put it over here and then the same with the health text so go here and get the health text copy go into the crease one paste it go back here and delete all the other stuff we don't need which is the other select and the other one all right so this will work and um, hopefully it wasn't really confusing for you guys i, I guess you understand it but maybe it was a, a, you know, there's many notes right that's the problem but uh, I guess you understand the concept that now we just have to add an extra consideration, which is not our dummy. Now it might be our AI bl blueprint, right? So we need to do this character type enumeration so we can change it, right? Um, so that should fix the problems in theory because we are not using any increased health or whatever. We are only focusing on the decreased health for the AI. So now if I were to attack him, everything works. As you can see, his health is decreasing. And when I exit, I don't have any more errors. So everything is fixed. And for the guys that actually were requesting in this score when, I, when we attack the AI, right now it breaks, right? It doesn't stop uh, attacking. Sorry, it stops attacking. <laughs> so let me just select it and open this. So it's just the generic BP AI. And we're gonna go into the event on any damage. And right before doing anything and playing the animation montage, we're gonna call the stop combo node. Because not, it will play the animation and because it's changing, it will just break the combo. It will not continue to attack. So we need to call this stop combo node before, which is literally just this one, okay? right before anything and with that you will see that when i attack he does the um damage animation and then continues to attack but that will be fixed okay all right so now yes we can continue to make our civilian ai so let's go ahead and do so so what we're going to do is do the same that we did with our uh, boss so first of all let's create a new folder call this civilian and what we're going to do is just get our main BP AI blueprint. Just right click and create a child class. And this will be just BP underscore AI underscore and then civilian. And now we can just get this, drag it into civilian here, and there we go. So as you can see in the boss, we have also another blackboard, another AI controller, and another AI boss. We're pretty much gonna do the same stuff. Um, so basically just get the normal uh, I think that I don't know if it was a uh, 
Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, we did a child, right? Yes, we did a child. So we can do exactly the same thing. Um, so just go here and just actually just get the boss, duplicate it, and change it to be a civilian, and just drag it into the civilian folder. Okay, so that will be the AI controller. Let's open it. And now we don't need anything about this, right? We don't need the events on this, so just delete it and delete it here. And now we just need to change this to be in BT. Well, we have to create the new one, right? So we're just gonna go back into our AI folder, boss. And let's do the same with the behavior tree and the blackboard. So let's start with the behavior tree, just duplicate it. And then let's call this the civilian. And let's do the same with the blackboard. Get it, civilian. And I just get this too and move it into the civilian folder. All right, so once in here, we can just save everything. Open back this, a controller. This is for the civilian, of course. Select the civilian blackboard tree and use a uh, copy and save. And now we can close this, close this, and we can just go and open the civilian behavior tree and make sure to change it into the new AI civilian blackboard here in the blackboard asset. And with that, we should be good. Now, of course, now it will not go ahead and chase the player. It might chase other stuff, but for now, we're not gonna center on that. So we can actually just go and uh, get rid of all of this. We will only patrol, right? So let's put this here and we can just delete this, um, you know, that, the creator and just plug it directly in this sequence. We don't need anything more. And now we can just go to Blackboard, make sure this is the civilian Blackboard, of course. And we can delete this and delete this. And with that, we're good. <laughs> okay, civilian is gonna work perfectly. But of course, we need to open our BP civilian. Now go into the class defaults, search for the AI, and then change the AI controller class from the generic one to the, where is it, where is it? Uh, civilian here and with that this should be a civilian now let's go ahead and delete the sword because I guess the civilians will not have sword actually we cannot delete it because it's a child um, so what we need to do is basically just disable the visibility okay which it will just do the job and with that uh, we should be all good I mean also we don't want health bars on the um, civilians so let's go ahead and disable that and with that we should be okay so if i were to drag in civilian all right and then just delete the enemy just press play you can see that they will just be wandering around aimlessly and just that now you can see that he's just walking a very short distance and stopping and working very fast so let's go back into our AA civilian go into the character move component and we can change the max walk speed to around 250 so it will be like pretty much walking right Another thing that we can do is increase the the walking distance. So let's go into the behavior tree of the civilian, select the uh, task of the patrolling, and then in the radius, we can just put this in a pretty big number, like, I don't know, 5,000. You know, you can play with the settings, but basically, it will just pick a point, right, very far away. You can see it's walking and it's stopping. I guess that we can lower a bit the, the speed even more, maybe, 220 I think that is, will be the perfect point yeah that's look that is that is a civilian that's a perfect NPC there and we just find a uh, you know random point in the distance and just go there stop two seconds ago these are civilians so you can just go ahead and put them in your village or whatever when we build the open world or your camps and just have them up there right so that will basically be the job and uh, basically they should be affected by the health now of course um, <coughs> As you can see, but of course, right now it, they don't have the health bar, so maybe it's not the best example. But for example, let's check our health fix that we just did with the boss. So you'll see everything works, as you can see. So I can just, if I manage to hit him, there we go. His damage decreases and he doesn't have any errors. Now let's quickly open this because I just noticed that I forgot to disable his health bar here, right? I mean, we have to do the same trick of you select it and disable the visibility. And basically, you're probably wondering why you're doing this. Well, you can see the health bar. We made it so it appears here like a boss battle. So that's better, right? And it will work perfectly fine, as you can see. Um, 
So that's it guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, I really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of unreal and tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. Join my Discord server so you can share your progress with your series or with any game that you're making and follow me on all my socials. In the next episode will be finally beginning with weighted climbing system, okay? If of course if there are not any changes of plan or any things that you want to be fixed before, okay? But in theory, we should start at an M. Not it will be the next one after that, but we'll begin with a climbing system that has been very requested. So we'll begin with that, okay? And we are advancing so fast, so hopefully very soon we'll get into actually building the open world finally, which is gonna be crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I'm very excited. So smash the like button and subscribe for you guys. Um, with all that said, bye bye.